Hello everyone, welcome to Electric Power Syrup channel. If you want to learn what this channel is about, I have earlier recorded a video and uploaded on this channel. Please do check out our welcome video. In this video, I will be covering how you can request your PSSE software explore version and how to install or and tips while installing the tool. PSSE is a power system simulation software by Siemens. It's widely used in US and many other countries. It, you can perform a lot of different studies like power flow studies, uh, dynamic studies, contingency analysis and lot more. It's a commercial tool. However, PSSE does provide uh, or the Siemens does provide a student version or academic version, what they call, uh, called PSSE Explore, which supports up the systems up to size of 50 buses, which is more than suffice for our book, for this tutorial purposes. And that's what we will be using throughout all our videos and duration. Let's first step, where do you request or download this tool? All you need to do is head up to the Siemens website. Let's quickly show. I will provide this link in the YouTube channel description. So you don't need to uh, copy paste right away. It, it should be available in the description. Go to this link, fill out this request form, uh, put all the details necessary and then send it. Once you submit this form, it should take four to five business days where you will receive a download link to PSSE Explorer software. And once you download it, you should see the following four uh, files. It contains the installation exe file, and also comes with installation instructions, which you can uh, follow at your own pace. Just double click this exe file and it will launch the following uh, GUI of the installer. I guess you can leave the default destination um, as it is, or if you would like to change, you can change. If you want the software, to be installed in some other location. Click next. And here's the important thing. Uh, for me, all these check marks uh, are unchecked because I already have PSSE installed on my laptop. But in your case, except the last option, everything else should contain a tick mark, meaning that you are instructing the in setup installer to install all the components. Please do not change anything. Leave all the settings during installation as default and you just need to click next, next, next. I'm not gonna go next. As I said, I've already installed this, but if you do face some any issues or challenges, please reach out to us and I'll uh, be glad to help you. There's one caution which I want to uh, share right now. And that's when the python component of this pss is installed so as you make progress in the installation wizard or installation setup there will be a point where it will install python and you should be reaching the following window this is basically after the python is successfully installed here you can see this option disable path length limit make sure you click on that what does this do why do you need to do this a lot of windows operating systems have default setting of max path variable as 260 characters what that means is if your file name or your file path uh, where your file is located is more than 260 characters and in your Python program, if you're trying to read some file or some um, from some location which have whose path is more than this size, it will throw an error that uh, it's the max limit has reached. 
and it's very annoying and in order to avoid that you should disable the max path limitation and the reason i'm sharing this caution is because this option is available only once during the installation if you missed to click this during the installation you would have to uninstall uh, your python and again install to again receive this uh, option to disable your path length limit by no means there are many other custom ways where you can manually do disable the path but it gets messy i find this uh, i find this as very convenient and easy way to disable the path so make sure you click on this at the end screen before you close it. So that's all from me for from this video. I hope you are able to successfully install uh, PSSE. And once you install PSSE, uh, you should be able to uh, launch your PSSE tool uh, from your windows. And that should look something like uh, this. and your PSSE should look something like this. We'll cover in the upcoming videos various basics and how to get started with different uh, components and things but that's all from this video. I hope you like this video. Please don't forget to hit subscribe button uh, to, stay with, to stay tuned with all the upcoming content and uh, lots of tutorial videos. Uh, till then, take care. Bye.